Time now for our hometown heroes, where we recognize someone who deserves the spotlight. WGN Radio's agriculture reporter, Orion Samuelson, has graced airwaves throughout the heartland in places across the Midwest and beyond. One of the most famous voices in radio will close out a remarkable 60-year career later this month. WGN radio personality Bob Surratt sat down with Orion for a trip down memory lane. That's Big O, that's Orion Samuelson. And Orion Samuelson, the voice of agriculture in the United States of America, and I don't think that's an overstatement, is in our studio. They enjoyed you as well as I enjoyed you. Well, let O tell some of the stories. You may want to say hi. Three, one, and two, I'm so happy for you. And it took me, and I still can't believe this, but it took me two weeks to make the decision that I would leave Green Bay and go to Chicago because I'm a country boy. I start speeches generally by saying, who would have thought that a cow milker from Wisconsin would meet nine presidents and any number of secretaries of agriculture and uh, would write a book and would be a broadcaster for all of these years. WGN. When you were growing up in Wisconsin, did you have ambitions to be a broadcaster? No, I didn't, but uh, circumstances, uh, leg disease that made it impossible to do heavy work. The uh, disease told my father, who probably would have passed the farm on to me, but it told him that I couldn't do the heavy work of farming, so I better find something else. I imagine you still milking cows while you're in broadcasting. Um, and I did. So I'd get up in the morning and I'd help dad milk cows, and then I'd drive 17 miles to the radio station. I'd get home in time to help milk cows at night. I listened to you back in the day. I'm so thankful to you. And you will be sorely missed. Anyone living in the Midwest over the past six decades knows that great big booming voice of yours. You've educated a lot of people though, haven't you? That's probably one of the uh, biggest compliments I get from city listeners in Chicago or suburbs or other cities who say, I didn't know what soybeans were. I didn't know what cattle, dairy and beef were. Why have agriculture news and farm reports survived on WGN radio in Chicago here long after that kind of broadcasting ended on other stations? Well, because we were able to talk more than planting corn or soybeans. We would talk about trade with China. We would talk about uh, the European community and the blocks that were put up against our products. And it, I think, became pretty well known to most people that agriculture was indeed a contributor to the nation's income. And uh, I think that a lot of people recognize that without agricultural trade, we would be in far worse condition because our farmers produce so much more than we can consume. The biggest change, besides technology, it would be the fact that agriculture is international because when I started in the business of South America, Brazil wasn't even in the soybean situation. And today they're the biggest producer and the biggest uh, uh, exporter of soybeans. I've gone to 44 countries to cover the agricultural story. Oh, I was in Cuba and I shook hands with Fidel Castro, who had a tough handshake and I thought, if we're going to wait for him to go away, we're going to wait a long time. And then I shook hands with Mikhail Gorbachev, uh, you know, two of the world leaders, and uh, uh, went to England to broadcast live from their Royal Agriculture Show. And when you say who are the most important people, the farmers, the ranchers, and the food producers are, and uh, then all the others uh, came after that. You had to be pinching yourself at times along the way. Yeah, without a doubt. And uh, it, uh, particularly when I, on a Sunday, went with the Secretary of Agriculture and the Prime Minister of India to see the Taj Mahal. And I'm looking at that building, this monument that the man built to his wife, and I think, what am I doing standing here? I read about this in the encyclopedia, but now I'm standing here looking at it. 
What would you like the uh, first sentence in your Wikipedia entry to say about you? That I could explain the strange business of agriculture and food production in a way that was understandable and that, uh, that I was a good guy and a good listener. I would, I would like that a lot. Judging by all the listeners who've been calling us in the morning, uh, people don't care how old you are. They don't want you to retire. Uh, there are tens of thousands of folks who are really going to miss you. What's been your reaction to this outpouring of love for you? Well, I've been pleased, obviously, but by the same token, I've been stunned because I didn't think I was very important. And then somebody said, 60 years, even farmers don't work that long in a lot of cases. And here you are still getting up early and uh, doing what you've done for the last, well, since 1952. Serving the great Midwest from Chicago, WGN Chicago. Well, Lorraine, congratulations. And uh, for all of the listeners and for all of us uh, who've had the uh, great fortune to work with you here, we thank you. Enjoy the next phase of your life. Uh, good health and happiness to you and to Gloria. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, what a, what a life, what a mm -hmm. career, what a voice, what a treasure. He's going to be missed by a lot of people. You just hear his voice. Right. And you know immediately what he's all about because we've all heard those ag reports and he did such an incredible job over the years and you didn't realize really how well traveled he was and how many places he'd been i did wow yeah well and i loved what he said that he could explain agriculture in a way right. that you would understand and make you care because you you often forget we take for granted it is an industry that impacts us all and despite the technology that they've seen it's still kind of back to the basics right and to be able to understand and appreciate that uh, he had a way of capturing that and conveying it so well all you just don't see a lot of people anymore that stay in one job or one little one profession yeah, for 60 years you don't you know they, uh, you know more younger generation, I don't think we do that the same way anymore. We just kind of take that long ride in the same place. So that's that's just amazing. That's right. devotion to, you know, an industry, devotion to a job. That's amazing. And a lot of people hung <laughs> on every word he said. Mm -hmm. right. He's one of those guys, too, you'd listen to read the phone book, as they say. Right. right? What a voice. He has that voice. We should probably thank Bob Surratt as well for doing that interview and our incredible research team and photographers who put it all together. That was a great story. Yep, and a well-deserved retirement. Enjoy it.